Hey everyone, welcome back. So, I tried out the new Mac OS Tahoe, and honestly, it's not really working for me. The previous version's launchpad has been replaced with Spotlight, which I find very inconvenient for app categorization. And even though the new liquid glass design looks nice, the UI sometimes feels not obvious enough, especially on bright backgrounds. So, I think it's a good time for me to downgrade. If you feel the same, here's how to do it. Before we start the downgrade, the first thing we need to do is keep our data safe. We'll use Time Machine to back up the Mac. Grab an empty external drive and connect it to your Mac. Then go to System Settings, General, Time Machine. Click Add Backup Disk, then set up your disk. The process may take a while, depending on how much data you have. In this step, we will create a bootable drive containing the macOS Sequoia installer. This will let us downgrade safely. We need to insert a USB drive that's at least 16 GB. And make sure it's empty, because it will be erased during the process. Next, go to the App Store and download macOS Sequoia. Since we can't downgrade directly to Mako Sequoia, click Quit in the Installer window when it opens. The installer will now be saved in your Applications folder. We can see it. Next, use Spotlight to open Terminal. Type the command sudo followed by a space. Now we need to go back to Finder and find the Create Install Media file. In Finder, go to Applications, locate Install Mako Sequoia. Right-click it and choose Show Package Contents. Open the Contents folder, then the Resources folder. Here you can find the Create Install Media file. Drag the Create Install Media file into the Open Terminal window. Type dash dash volume followed by a space. Now go to the main screen. Drag and drop the USB icon into Terminal and press Enter to start the process. It will ask for your password to create the bootable USB installer. Note that the password will not be displayed while you type. Once you enter, click Enter to proceed. To continue, press the Y key and press Enter. Wait for the process to finish. This may take a few minutes. Once the bootable USB is ready, shut down your Mac Wait at least 10 seconds before proceeding to the next step. Step 3. Boot into recovery mode. For Macs with Apple Silicon chips, hold down the power button continuously until you enter the boot options. As you can see, my MacBook is in the Makos recovery screen. Click on Option, then Continue. Select the account and enter your MacBook login password and Continue. Here, choose Disk Utility and Continue. Before installing Sequoia, we need to erase the current macOS. Don't worry, your backup is safe. Select your system volume from the left side of the window. Erase it. Wait for your drive to be completely erased. When the screen goes black, press and hold the power button until you see the startup options appear. As you can see, click on your bootable installer drive, install Mako Sequoia. Follow the on-screen setup and continue. Wait and select the primary installation MacBook drive. Here I am, selecting Macintosh HD. Wait for the installation to complete. During the installation, your MacBook will restart many times. Once done, set up your Mac and restore data from Time Machine Backup with Migration Assistant. If you didn't have a backup and need to recover files on a Mac, get 4DDIG McData Recovery. Thus, I have finished guiding you to downgrade Makos from Tahoe to Sequoia. That's it. If you think this video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.